Earlier this month, Bozeman raised the minimum wage for its city employees by $2. MTN's Bedaris Bab finds out how long it could take to see the wage increase even more. 17 city employees saw a pay increase to $13 an hour after public comment at the commission meetings was made almost every week for the past two months. We, we know what it's like uh, for our employees to have to um, you know, find rent uh, here in Bozeman and, and uh, uh, pay for their expenses here in Bozeman. So uh, we hear the message loud and clear. But for some, $13 an hour isn't sufficient. About 10 different people continue to show up at the meetings asking for the city to increase the wage to $15 an hour. Commissioner Jeff Krause says the city should be wary of compression and should let city manager Andrea Surratt decide a fair wage based on skill and experience. And that's a, you know, between management and employee. That's not up to a few people who just show up randomly and start demanding higher wages for everyone. And when you start picking numbers out of the air, it's kind of silly. Deputy Mayor Chris Mell says the city needs to work on creating a livable wage while still looking out for the taxpayers. So it's a combination of all of that. What's the right thing to do? What's the fair thing to do? And then also what's the economically smart thing to do? I think we can meet all three of those goals, uh, but we should think about it and look at it before we just say it has to be X or it must be Y. City employees are represented by four different unions, police, fire, Teamsters, and Montana Public Employees Association. Before the city can increase the wage to $14 or $15 an hour, negotiations between Teamsters and MPEA has to happen. Assistant City Manager Anna Rosenberry says those negotiations will happen at the beginning of next year. We really hope through this process, working over the next months and working with the union groups, that we will be able to incorporate those next recommendations into next year's budget. In Bozeman, Madeira's Bab, MTN News.